And in my Plex video with the title service, we talked a little bit about lossless audio and why it's better than the compressed audio that we often get from our favorite streaming services. And some folks say, well, I can't hear the difference. I think it's a waste to have these huge files or spend as much as titles asking for their lossless service. I will agree with you on the cost of the title lossless service. I do wish it costs less than 20 bucks a month. Uh, but there is some real value for people that have nice speakers to have really high quality audio to listen to it on. And that was one of the things that uh, Trelexin brings up in this post. His, his post is actually longer than this. You may want to check it out. Uh, on that video page. And what people don't realize is that even though we're in the 21st century and everything is so modern and awesome and available to us at the push of a button, uh, the reality is music sounded better out of CDs that came out 20 something years ago, 30 years ago now, than what we're getting from most of these major streaming services, including Apple and uh, Spotify and others, because they are compressing the music in a way where you're losing some of the audio information. Uh, in the car, it's fine perhaps, depending on what your audio system is, but a lot of people are not getting the best quality uh, out of these speakers they're buying because they are using something like a streaming service or purchasing compressed audio and not getting the original. So what I've been doing, and I did a video on this a few weeks ago, uh, is going back through my old CD collection, which has been sitting dormant upstairs for a long time, and re-ripping all of the CDs to Flax so that I have a lossless source on my Plex server. Uh, and then if I'm going out or something and want just a smaller amount of storage on my phone, I'll have Plex compress it down to MP3 in a more manageable so file size for uh, going out on the road in my car where perhaps the audio doesn't make as much of a difference. But I think he's right about that. If you are into music, you probably owe it to yourself to get the best possible quality. Uh, you can now buy lossless audio directly. There's a number of services selling that. Uh, and of course, Tidal has their uh, lossless uh, streaming service that you can make use of now as well. And I think what happened with all these lossy audio formats is that when things rolled out and you could actually legitimately buy a track online and listen to it, uh, we had just enough bandwidth and just enough storage to make this a viable thing for people. It sounded good enough for most consumers to the point where they didn't hear all that much of a difference between uh, what an MP3 sounded like versus the CDs. And I remember uh, the first time I acquired a, an MP3 file, I believe it was like 96 or 97, I was blown away that a file that small could sound that good because up until that time, my friends and I had been messing around with ripping CDs onto our hard drive, but we were left with essentially a couple hundred megabytes of uh, music tracks that didn't make it convenient for uh, having all of your music in one location stored digitally. You just didn't have the hard drive space to accommodate uh, more than a CD or two. And all of a sudden you could put a bunch of tracks on a zip disk, for example, and later burn a lot more to uh, something like a CD-R for getting more and more music in one location as opposed to having to continually swap out disks and whatnot. That was a big convenience item uh, and something that I think made a big difference, especially when we didn't have the bandwidth or the storage. Now we do, so that's why I am going back through and uh, getting everything ripped to that hard drive. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.